Hello out there and welcome to this video about domain models in Asta. So this is uh, intended to be a short instructional video about how to create a domain model in Asta. I've seen many versions uh, throughout my second semester projects and there are too many mistakes in it because the students do not know how to use Asta correctly to create domain model. So the idea is that I will spend a few minutes and show how to, to do this in, in Asta. I have a, a domain model here. There it comes. All right, so this is my, from my own uh, example case uh, where teachers uh, can create courses and assign students to these courses and um, the students can have grades and uh, attendance and so on. Right. So this is my domain model. There's a teacher, there's some uh, attributes for that teacher, an abbreviation, for example, my own is TRMO, a name and password to log in, email, phone, some office. And the teacher manages courses. So I can create a new course, for example, SDJ2 or SEP2. And SDJ2 is obviously the abbreviation, and then the name is the uh, software development with UML and Java 2, I believe. And so the teacher manages this one. I have my multiplicity. Right? Each course is managed by exactly one teacher. A teacher can manage zero to many courses. A teacher can also enroll students into the course. So a student can be enrolled by zero to many teachers because the, he, the student can be enrolled in multiple courses and the teacher can enroll zero to many students. Um, the student also has some uh, attributes and there's a relation to the course right? and you see we I have I have marked it so the domain model can be illustrated in multiple ways I have shown this uh, same domain model but in slightly different ways for these relationships in my uh, sep 2 example case the slideshow and in this case I have some attributes <coughs> um, that belongs to a student course relationship and so, uh, for example, a student can be enrolled in a specific course, SDJ2, and in that specific course, the student has a grade and an attendance. And in a, the student can also be enrolled in a separate course, SEP2 or DPS1, and in that course, or those courses, the students also have a grade and attendance. So, so these attributes here belong to a pair of student course. Right? And for each student course pair, there is a, a these uh, attributes here some data um, same thing the other way the course can have students um, so this is it sort of looks like an e e diagram um, but it's slightly different yeah, there are no keys for example so this here is just to illustrate our uh, domain the data and information that we're going to work with in the project right so the next step is to uh, create this in Asta and let me just find Asta. I have Asta here. It's a completely new project. <coughs> so I will create a diagram. I use the class diagram um, because this actually can do a lot more than just create class diagrams. We also use this for um, ER diagrams, EER diagrams or physical diagrams for the database. Uh, I have another video about that. Um, so I create, create this one. And let me just uh, sort of half screen this. And I want to see this one. I can make this small and then slightly larger or slightly less large. I want some more room over here. So, all right. That seems fine. Um, so, each of the entities here will just be a class. I'll create a teacher class. I will also create a course class and I need a student class. All right, uh, let's add some attributes. So we use the, uh, we use the fields or attributes or whatever you want to call them. Uh, that compartment, the other compartment down here is for the operations or methods. I don't want any of these because that's not relevant for the domain model. Uh, so I create this one, abbreviation, abbreviation. Now I don't care about the 
accessor here, public or private. I don't care about the type. So I just default that to private and int because we're going to remove that in a bit. That's not relevant for the domain model, you see. I don't have it over here. And it doesn't make sense to have it in the domain model. The, um, the types can vary. If I have a, uh, if I write my program in Java, this could be a string. If I, yeah, if I write it in C sharp, it could be a string with lowercase. Apparently not, but a string with a lowercase. If I write it in JavaScript, I just have, I don't know, even know what to put here, var. We don't really have the types. and right, So the types are, are not important because this is not implementation specific. This is just information for the customer to make sure that we agree on what's going on. And, and then whatever language I use afterwards should not be clear here. And for the similar reasons, we don't show any of the operations because those are sort of implied in the managers or in roles or marks. Um, <clears throat> but whether, I mean, those those operations that we need later on can be expressed in many different ways and be needed in different ways. So there's no need to think about that currently. So I have the abbreviation. I create another one, hopefully. Here we go. I just call it name. And I should just be able to press enter a couple of times here, password. Enter again, email, phone, and office. Okay, so that's the teacher. We just do the abbreviation and name. Okay, and for the student, give the student a student number. And just press enter again a couple of times, name and password and email okay so now I have the the uh, hard strong entities if we talk database I guess this would be a weak entity and this would be a strong entity so I have my ent entities in place and I want to select them all and I now want to remove the operation compartment and I can uh, operation compartment visibility off so now the methods are hidden I also want to go here, extended visibility, visibility kind off, that removed all the private accessor, and extended visibility and attribute type off. Now we don't have any types on it, right? So it's starting to, to look more like my, um, my domain model over here. So now we need to, let me just zoom in a bit. Now we need to add the relationships here and over here, I have actually used the arrow. I could just, uh, I can just use this one without any um, arrows at the ends. Put it here, and I can go to the base, and here I can put it a name, and so the the base tab here, base, and my teacher manages. So the arrow here comes from the, I click teacher, and then I click course, so that gives the the direction. If I want to, well, we do that later here. Can I actually turn this? It would have been neat if I could rotate it a bit. I cannot. Doesn't matter. Maybe I'll do it this way then. And I want to have a English line and like that. And we add again managers. Okay. And I should be able to add some. Uh, multiplicity by clicking a star this one isn't one and over here we have zero to many okay and that should actually stick now yeah wonderful so if i move things around the multiplicity follows and the managers is also placed in the middle of the line all right i have the other relationship here that the teacher enrolls a student so the direction of or the order of what I click here, teach you first, then the student, because then I can do this and do enroll. And I could actually, instead of putting it, I, I could also take a second one and say the second one is marks. Right, so this is to indicate that the teacher marks the student uh, with grades. Right? The teacher grades the student. 
and it's again uh, zero to many and up here zero to many and here zero to many and zero to many and oh i forgot to show you um version information i'm using this version of asta it probably doesn't matter it just uh, for example if i were to there are some may, maybe some of the um, uh, where you find this uh, hide things maybe that looks slightly different um, the functionality should still be there so okay i'll just drag this <coughs> Right, so now we need this part, and here I have this. Um, I have what we call a ternary relationship, or in database, I guess this is a weak entity because it cannot exist without the strong entities here. So this one also can be done in Aster. We go to the just zoom out a little bit. We go to this one up here, this tool, and let's do the course has students first. So I click on the course and then to the student. And the association class, I can drag that out here. And I want. Mm. Now, for this one, I probably don't need this actually. I can just remove it because that's just, you know, I could just put it like this uh, like teacher manages course, course has students. So let's just do like the normal one. This one, I go to the base, has students. Yeah. And we put the multiplicity zero to many. And I don't want that. There we go zero zero to many. Okay, so this one has students, and I just drag it out here. Now the other one here I definitely need because there's some metadata, right? So I will create this one from student to course. I'll just drag it out. Association class. Um. Do I give it a name enrolled in to indicate? So that name, uh, okay, that's actually put here. Hmm, okay, that's probably uh, wonderful. Now I put some attributes on. That's a grade. And enter, enter, enter. Oh, that was too many times. And there's also an attendance, attendance. And well, it's not. I have to hide the, th the stuff again because it's not just defaulted. Um, so, attribute operation, I want to hide that one. I want to go to extended visibility. I want to hide the visibility kind. And I want to hide the attribute type. Okay, so now I have my ternary relationship in place, and I guess this is basically all there is to it i have copied my domain model so i hope this is enough to do the domain models that you need to do i think i have shown you all the tools that are needed no wait there's one last thing that i could show you here um, because this is apparently a, a secret to many so <coughs> for the uh, whenever you want to put this diagram, a diagram into your project report. I want it as an SVG file because most of the times I think people will just save it as a PNG file and that then they put it into the report and I cannot see anything. Let me just find an example. All right, so I have here an example of a class diagram that was just saved as PNG and then put into the report and you can see well, you, you can't really see anything. There's some colors, but it doesn't give me anything. And even if I try to zoom, you just see that it gets all pixelated. And that's just the PNG. It doesn't really retain the information. It's just dumb pixels. So there's nothing in it. Now, if I select another, so this is the PNG. This is what I don't want you to do. If I select another report here, you can see I have also a tiny, tiny di diagram over here. But this is actually in SVG. And if I zoom, and I zoom and I zoom and I zoom and you see that everything is still clear, right? And that's because SVG is some kind of vector graphics. So it doesn't really save pixels. It saves boxes and uh, text and information. So I can just zoom all that I want. And even though it's tiny, I can zoom and I can still see what's actually going on. Right? So that's why I want PNG. 
And if we go back to Asta, I make this uh, super large and we go to the tools, right? This is where you export image. And I want to export current diagram and I want to expo export it as SVG file. And that will just give you the normal uh, save button, right? Uh, save, save dialog here. And here you can export it as SVG. And SVG is uh, commonly recognized by all kinds of programs, both browsers and words and PDF, so, so you shouldn't have any problems with that. So, tools, export image, SVG. Right. Okay, so that's, I think this is where we stop the video. Uh, no more new ideas of what to tell you. So, uh, thanks for watching.